Welcome back, everybody. It's your boy, CDRM 1019. Welcome back to the Grand Star Legion YouTube channel. We're playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, and it's my Danger Mario run. And we're starting Chapter 4 for Pigs the Bell Tolls. So, I gotta tell ya, um, I love Paper Mario Thousand Year Door to death. Uh, it's basically the best Paper Mario game. I mean, Color Splash is pretty great, but Thousand Year Door is fantastic. And Thousand Year Door is a pretty high benchmark. But I gotta tell ya, Chapter 4 is definitely the low point of this game. I absolutely cannot stand this chapter. Um, this is the worst chapter of the entire game. Um, and we're gonna try and just blast through it. Just because I hate it so much. So we're here. We already see pigs running around. These guys telling us it's a bad time to be here. The bell rang again. What could it be? And the guy in front of us turned into a pig. <coughs> oh, badness. Now poor Freddy got turned into a pig. Not good. Alright, Mayor Dower. We're gonna go into Mayor Dower's uh, house and give, have a chat with him. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, he'd says, like to welcome the welcoming people is generally not good. Yada yada yada. Uh, the town's been cursed. <coughs> uh, there's a building. Uh, beyond town is a forest, and at the heart of it is an ancient building called the Creepy Steeple. Dark creature there, it's cursed or dames, and it's in the rings. Yada yada. Whenever the bell rings, someone becomes a pig. We don't know if he'll become a pig too, I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. This keeps up well, we'll do one time. Ping pang. Some advice, leave before you get pigified. Can't leave, we're looking for the crystal star. He doesn't know about one, but there's a griddly red star. Red stone shaped like a star cre creepy steeple. So creepy steeple's where we're gonna head to. This appears to be the Traveling Sisters 3. They are now pigs. Do I have anything that I can give the mother? I have a turtley leaf. Um, uh, I kind of want to save that. I don't think I can buy anything in the store right now, right? Yep, the store is closed because there's a pig in here. <coughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. She's just gonna go on for a while. <coughs> she says, "Can you figure out some way to restore my husband? I'll do whatever I can. He can take whatever's in the storeroom, but the storeroom's locked. Key is out there." <coughs> I don't even know why I'm going in this room. Alright, so let's go over here. We gotta talk to this guy who's blocking the gate. We need the mayor's permission. Alright, so let's go talk to the mayor. Oh, the bell went off. Wonder what that could mean. <coughs> Checking the mayor Dower's house. And surprise, surprise, the mayor's a pig. Now we're going to go all the way back over this way. <coughs> There's the bell again. And now the gatekeeper's pig. 
Guess no one's stopping us now. There's an item in here. We're gonna need that black key for later. <coughs> Nothing over there. All right, here's a green Goomba. We're gonna take out uh, Goombella so we can get a tattle on these. It's not just a green Goomba, they're actually called Hyper Goombas. They're Goombas that can charge. HP is 8. Welcome back, folks. Sorry about that. Uh, had a little, uh, little snafu there with the battle. Uh, kind of, that's kind of what happens when you're not paying very close attention. Um, so I restarted because I had a, uh, I, I missed a, I missed a save. So I, uh, before I got to Twilight Town, uh, so save frequently. That's moral of the story. But uh, I took the liberty while I was there to knock out a few uh, side quests. Uh, at the Rogueport Trouble Center, and I also went down the Pit of 100 Trials a few levels to grab a few badges, and um, now we got some new side effects when we're fighting. Uh, I figured I'd get that out of the way so I didn't waste your time with uh, with that boring process to get that done. So with that being said, we're back where we were. Let's continue. I'm gonna knock, I'm gonna swap out to Goombella right now so I can tattle this Hyper Goomba. Whoops! <laughs> ah, gee. So as you can see, Mario is electrified. We've got the Zap Tap badge, which makes him permanently electrically charged. So whenever anybody directly attacks me, they will also get hurt too. Kind of helpful. Two dodgy Hyper Goombas and uh, one that's charged. Let's power bounce this one. Alright, this ain't gonna do nothing. Can still super guard him though. Alright, we want to be absolutely careful of that. In fact, well, no, I should be okay, actually. <clears throat> Perfect. Ooh, we got a blue sheet for that. Alright, I'm full up on items, too. I don't need this, I don't really need this tasty tonic, though, so I'll get rid of that for now. Nothing there. Nothing there. A coin. Hey, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Whoops. There we go. Basically, just want Goombella to get the tad this out, out the way for the tattle log. <coughs> Alright, 
Paragoomas are out the way, too. So, uh, before we had to take a force break, uh, and we got the spike. We got the spike Hyper Goomba, too. if I can use this. Alright, I think that was a good decision. Ah, that's too bad. I could've used that. There we go. Alright. Um, this might be a problem, however, because... Uh... Because he's charged. I will swap out... Uh, for Yasi. And I'll have Yasi go. <laughs> Oof! That is painful! Um. Yikes. Okay. Actually, no. Okay, so I'm gonna. What am I gonna do here? I'm gonna sweet treat here. Use some flower points. And some, and some health. Ooh, that's a bad start. That's a bad start. Come on. I hit another one? Really? Uh, that could have been better, but okay. That's, uh, that's fine. This way we can get Yasi to finish this off. I would run away, but I kind of want the star points. <laughs> it's just helpful to get them while I can. Another boo sheet. Don't need it. Okay. Um, so I was saying that this chapter is a is a low point for me. This is probably a low point for a lot of people. This is arguably the worst chapter in the entire game. <coughs> um, oh, that's right. Okay, so we got this tree here. We can't really do much, but we can grab that key with Koops. That is the shop key, and this, it stands to reason this pig is the shop owner of that uh, shop who, whose wife is all by her lonesome. So we're going to head all the way back to town now. <coughs> we should already have the black key. I'm going to check. Yep, we already got it. And we're going to head into the shop and check the back room. Don't mind me, I'm gonna raid your storeroom. Okay, couple items here. This, uh, okay, so this um, this life shroom's gonna be particularly helpful at this point. Um, I can get rid of this boo sheet, I don't need it. We got a defend plus in here, that is actually going to help a lot too. I can't apply it right now though, unless I turn something off. Uh, I can turn item hog off for right now, we're not gonna need that. Uh, can I turn two others off? Um... <clears throat> um... Alright, we might have to... We might have to leave it like that for a while. Um, we should be able to turn that Defend Plus on later. So then here we go, we're gonna do the box stick again. Yada yada, great hero. No, 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 I'm not gonna curse you. Only slime ball will do that. Why would I do that? Just find the key, please. Here's the key. Wee hee, fools. Yada yada. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Yada yada, be cursed. Woohoo, now you're cursed. Guess what? When you're going to the paper mode, you can also go into, uh, you can curl up into a... a tube! Oh, whoops, I hit the wrong button. Yes, I understand. <coughs> okay, this allows us to progress. And we're gonna leave these, item, uh, these other items here, maybe we'll come back for them. Oh, we got an email. What could that possibly be? 
RDM issue 3. Excessive Brand Express Land Wait for the first time in 10 years. Suspicious incident activated station, madness, yada yada yada. Lack use found taking pictures in an employee only area. Uh, yada yada. Shop before Glitzville stalls. Hot dog stand. <coughs> Cooking for rookies. Benny Straws today's is flash juice. Just blend the honey syrup until you reach a nice frothy texture. Yada 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 yada. yada. Okay. Alright. <coughs> Back to adventure. So, normally this chapter wouldn't be so bad. Um, I don't take issue with its gloomy part. I, I, I take issue with the fact that we have to go up and down this area no less than about four times, I think. And, uh, it, it's a bit much. I'm gonna blow this out the way. Take this pipe into the in deeper. That'll take us back here to go deeper into the forest. <coughs> and uh, it, it, I'm not gonna lie, it's not exactly easy dodging enemies like these daisies either. All right, we'll have Kumbella do a tattle. Crazy Daisy. Please don't sing. Ant's gonna sing. Okay, didn't affect me. There's anything else over here. Get some coins out of this box. Okay. There's an item box over here. Let's see if anything else useful is in there. An earthquake! That might come in handy. Um, I brewed the, the tea leaf, by the way, so I might um, I might use that really quick to replenish my FP. <coughs> Alright. We're gonna go further into the forest. Whoops. <laughs> okay, I got a lot of coins on me, which is good because I have absolutely zero interest in sticking around to fight these guys right now. Hammer throw. That's a good badge to have right about now because we're gonna start getting into some, uh, some swooping enemies. Alright, so I can stay in this battle long enough to tattle that cleft, and then we're gonna leave. <coughs> it's a hyper cleft. We kind of don't want to stay around to fight those. They're pretty gnarly. So, I, I hate to break it to you, but I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of running this chapter. I am... I am very desperate to just be done with this chapter. Um... See if we can blow something away here. Yep. Alright, there's the entry to go even further into the forest. <coughs> Should be something right here. Break that. And we'll end up over here. And we're gonna push this rock. And now we're gonna head back. I'm gonna try and jump over this. I think there might be... Oh no, can I not do that? I cannot. Okay, that's fine. We'll go through here and come out the other side. The cleft wanted to attack, but I said no. You see, it just... It, attacking those things, or sticking around to fight those things is just kind of all around a bad idea right now. So we're gonna run. Alright, we've made it to Creepy Steeple. That's, uh, one of the, one, uh, uh, that's one trip down. Uh, Flurry says, let's get, get in and get out. Alright, we're gonna heal. <coughs> and we're gonna save. 
The less times I have to take that path, the better. Can't get in the front door. Okay, so this is... Uh, wait. Oops. Oh, I didn't want to go through there. I didn't, I didn't. Um, okay. I can't get through here yet. Um, it's important I don't go through there yet because the only way, uh, to get through that portion is with Vivian. Uh, we are gonna need to go through that way on the next entrance, but not right now. We can just kinda curl in there and walk through the front door. <coughs> Alright, welcome to Creepy Steeple. Alright, on first glance, there's a curl-up area in here. Let's go check it out. Cool, this is a side room. We got another Shine Sprite in here. That's nice to have. What's in here? We got an Ice Smash badge. And if I'm right, this should be... Excellent, a cookbook. That'll make a trouble... A trouble request a lot easier to deal with. We won't have to come back to Creepy Steeple to get that book. <coughs> now that we've got that, let's continue. We can move this. That becomes a secret entrance. <coughs> we'll uh, flurry blow this away back here. And we can go over this way and get this item box. As a flower saver, that is absolutely helpful right now. I would love, well, I'd love to turn that on, but we need another badge point. Um, <clears throat> nothing I particularly want to shut off right now, though, so we'll turn that on on our next upgrade. That is definitely going to be helpful. Okay, we're going to go through here, and I'm going to open that box in a second. In fact, I'll open it right now. <coughs> Quiz time in our looper. How many were just in the box? Um, jeez, I actually don't remember the answer to this question, and I really, really, really don't want to get it wrong. So I'm going to look it up right now. Um, it never changes. So mm. hang on, I'm just going to look this up because I just, I know I'm cheating. I just, I, I, he'll he'll drop an item if I get this right. So I'd I'd rather get this item. Um, let's see, how many booze came out of the box? That's what I thought. A total of 200 booze. Oh, he just drops an Ultra Shroom for us. That would be helpful if I had a lot more points, but, um, that's okay. Uh... Alright, I wanted to keep this Peachy Peach, but that only does 1 HP and 2 FP, so we're just going to get rid of that. <coughs> Alright, that door's locked from the inside, so we're not going to do anything there. We're just going to go back the way we came from. <coughs> we're going to switch back to Goombella. And we're going to talk to this little crying boo right here. We're going to be mean to him? No. Do I promise? Sure. So these guys are going to come out and they're going to haunt us more or less. <coughs> now, normally if you keep moving in the in this creepy steeple, um, nothing of kind... It, it, normally, if, as, long as, you guys, as long as you keep moving around, these boos are basically nothing of consequence. But uh, they'll start gathering around you. And uh, I'll show you up. Whoops. Actually, I take back what I said. If you're... Standing still, I mean, it is of consequence. They will kick you out of the creepy steeple. Um, so we're going to go back in. As I was trying to say, I'll show you something that some people don't actually know about. Uh, these boos form an optional boss, which we are going to, unfortunately, challenge right now. We're going to charge up our super hammer. We're going to wait for them to gather, and we're going to let that baby rip. And we're going to do it again. And again. <laughs> you said you'd be nice. Let's get him, guys. <coughs> and this forms the atomic boo. <laughs> the 
And the only reason we're entertaining this fight is because, well, uh, we need to, not only do we need a catalog, but he should drop a, a badge or something for us. <coughs> Whoops! Oh, wow, that's bad. Not good. I feel really bad that I missed that. Alright, we're gonna tattle again. <coughs> Alright, Atomic Boo, it's a giant made up, made up similar. Its HP is 40, attack is 4, defense is 0. If we try to smash this, it can spit up a set of hundreds of boos. Uh, might get so scared that we get confused or can't move. I want to see that thing. Alright, uh, okay. We're, I'm gonna just gonna have Mario charge once or twice, and we're gonna see if we can make quick use of this boss. That, yep, he immobilized me. That, uh, <coughs> well, he confused me, but I kind of saw that coming. So the name of the game is to try and do basically the most damage possible. Hey, we got a bingo. That helps right now. That fills up the feeder and that replenishes our health. Mario's still confused, so I'm just going to have him charge again. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I haven't been feeling too great lately. We're going to multi-bonk one more time. I'm going to have Mario charge one more time, as long as he doesn't... Ooh, that, see, that's what I was hoping would not happen. So I lost my charge because of that, unfortunately. So now we're just gonna have to brute force this. Or at least we're gonna try to. <laughs> Alright, um, he's hiding, so I'm gonna take this chance to sweet treat. We're not in a terrible spot just yet. As long as I can kind of get some heal and get some, ugh, some flower points back. Oh my lord. Alright, that could have been better, but that's okay. I'm gonna have Goombella headbonk once. And Mario will finish up on next turn. Ah, uh, well, he would have if that didn't freeze me. <laughs> it's not good. All right, Mario's lucky. Hey, that that ghost decided to be a bro and help out. That's pretty fortunate, actually. Uh, all right, so the ice let up, and now we're gonna finish this. All right, and that's the fight. <coughs> that's 23 HP. Or 23 star points, rather. And now the boos will no longer bother us. And they dropped a lucky start. I was actually hoping to grab that badge. That's a really cool badge. Uh, the lucky start will um, start every battle with something cool happening. That requires four badge points, so it's going to be a little while before we can turn that on. But rest assured, we will absolutely equip that later. Alright. Now let's get back to making some progress. Um, I'm gonna fight this swoop here just for the sake of getting the catalog. Do I have the hammer throw on? I do not. So we're just gonna get the we're just gonna, gonna get the catalog and we're gonna leave. <coughs> um. Well. Hang on, let me see. Let's see if I can... I'll take care of this one, and let's see if he wants to come down and play. Nope. Actually, I don't need the hammer toss. Well, I do now, because... Yeah, okay. Um... Alright, we're just gonna run for now. We'll play with these guys some other time. Uh, we might want to hit this button once, at least, though. <coughs> that should move the staircase in this next room over. I'm going to turn on that hammer throw before I forget. That should be a 1 BP badge. Okay, cool. 
Um, alright, so, let's move the staircase over, and I know this isn't the right place where I need it to be, but there should be, um, well, okay, I was wrong about the booze not bothering us, they will still bother us, okay, that's right, so we needed that key, and now we got it, cool, we got the steeple key, so now let's go back, and we'll move the, um, move the platforms the other way, I'm gonna attack this boo, and get a tattle log, <laughs> Seven times three. Ow. Uh. I gotta think this over. Alright, I'm gonna sweet treat again. I need some health, and I need some flower points. <coughs> oh, those poison bat, those poison mushrooms, man. <laughs> Alright, that could have been better. Alright, this one blew down. Should have figured that would happen. Yep, absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'll compel a charge. <coughs> right, I'm gonna let Compel use that charge now. There we go. this door. We're gonna go out uh, this one over here and we're gonna move the stairs over two spaces. <coughs> that should be one. And we'll hit it again. And that should be two. Alright, it's in place. Let's go up the stairs. Let's try to ignore these boos. And we're gonna save real quick. I'm gonna keep Kumbella out so I can get a uh, tattle on Dupless. That is the name of the boss that we're up to face. By the way, that is Dupless. Heal. Up we go. <coughs> All right. This is the monster mayor was talking about. Busy thinking up new pranks, not get lost. Fine, I turned the villagers into pigs, big deal. It's like, why would you do that? Well, <coughs> no, they're all depressing and boring and dim witted, so while in gloom, I'd let them wallow in mud. Alright, <coughs> we're gonna fight. Interesting thing about Dupless Dupless is kind of a pushover, he's really nothing special. In fact,. All right, so we don't have it. He doesn't have a name there. He's got the same amount of HP as um, as Atomic Boo did, which basically means if we charge a few times and a power bounce him, uh, this will be over in a little bit. <laughs> I'll let uh, um, I will let uh, uh, Goombella do a little bit of the attacking for now. Super card. <coughs> and we're gonna let Mario do one more charge. <laughs> yeah, 
hit another super guard. We're gonna let Kumpala attack one more time. And now we are going to proceed to raffle stomp the heck out of this Duplass. <laughs> A few extra hits there for posterity. Since you're gonna love this, I got something special for you. So we're gonna scan Mario. <coughs> and now he's become a Shadow Mario. That's alright. Now. All of a sudden he's got a little he's got like 10 health points left, which we can proceed to utterly just waste. Oh, the clouds. See if we can get a hit on him. We did. That's it. That's the fight. And Duplass falls. <laughs> so, pretty simple. Now, you might already be noticing that something just seems to be wrong with that icon of Mario. That's because there is something wrong. Even though we've gotten the Ruby Star. End of chapter. <laughs> Defeated the Scourge of the Creepy Steeple, found the star, people of Twilight Town sure recover from their awful curse. This raid Mario's quest to collect seven cards the stars will be done in no time. Back to Creepy Steeple, Mario sets towards the bright future. So, <laughs> he's gonna give us a save too. The more astute of you might have already realized that uh, it did not tell us that our star power rose and we did not get a new star attack. Well, that's unfortunately because that's not the end of the chapter. We have been had. So, Tuplis basically just stole our body and took all of our partners. So now we're left to be the Shadow Mario. We have no partners in our party. We're left with all our items and our badges, thankfully. Uh, but uh, this is kind of why this chapter's a problem. Uh, so now we have to take the trip all the way back to town. And uh, I wish I could tell you that it gets better. I mean, it, it does, but not. it doesn't get better quickly. All right, so we're gonna save. <coughs> we're gonna waltz right out the front door. Meanwhile, back in town, the Shadow Siren sisters are plotting to get Mario with a super bomb. Vivian hand over the bomb. She says, huh? Don't you dare, does that help me when I think it does? She says, I never had it. You were holding it just two seconds ago. It's too important to trust me with. Terrible liar, stop covering for yourself. Obviously you lost it. You're trying to imply that I lost it. <coughs> sure you dropped it. Why don't you go look for it while Mary and I go, <laughs> go take a siesta. You'll find it. You'll get punished. Meanwhile, back at the plot, we can open this door now, and we're going to save so we don't have to see that cutscene again. <coughs> Alright, and so begins a long, strenuous tale of running away from stuff. The quicker, why are we running away from stuff? Well, because the quicker we get done with this chapter, the better. Alright, <laughs> we got stopped by a daisy, and a cleft. The fact that that cleft there is bad news, so we just want to run. I'm going to try and stop and make some of my coins back that I lose. I don't want to lose too many of them. Oh, the hitboxes on those daisies, man. They are playing around. Alright, this one's... This one in particular is kind of a problem. Because it just goes, Hey, I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you, and it won't leave us alone. So, 
Sometimes we can get away like that, though. All right, we're almost home free. We're out of the forest. Now we're gonna head back uh, this way and under the tree. And we're gonna roll over this way. And we're gonna go down the hill. We're gonna watch out for these hyper goombas because they could rock our, they could rock us right now, which wouldn't exactly be fun. <coughs> I just hit that because I felt like it. What's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. Hey, it's Duplass in our body. Mario, yeah, I can jump now. Hey, you're so popular. I love being you. I figured it out by now. Your body name belonged to me. I got the power to change the shape of anyone I want. It comes in handy. There will be someone I need to take their name and body too, which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. <coughs> so here's the unfortunate part. We can fight him, but we can't do any damage to him. He says, we'll play a game. If you can guess my real name, I'll give you your body back. What do you say? So, good news is, we already know his name. Bad news is, we are missing a letter that we need to actually spell his name. It goes right here. We need this letter P. And every time we get it wrong, he'll fight us. <coughs> we have zero choice but to run away. He'll just be like, oh, that's no fun. Alright, so we're back in town. Everything is, uh, is good again. Let's just see how everybody's doing in here. Turns out the little pig that came back to the wife wasn't the, uh, wasn't his, the husband's, and they're just having a little, a little talk about it. It's just kind of funny. Traveling Sisters 3 are back to themselves. Meanwhile, over here, Vivian is looking for that bomb. Let's give her a small little hand. Show her an act of kindness she's probably never seen in a while. We got a star piece that's nice to have. Must be in one of these bushes somewhere. Whoops. I'm nope, not trying to talk to you. Alright, there it is. Let's give her back the bomb. She looks at it and she goes, Oh, no, it's broken. <coughs> I'll offer to fix it. Oh, don't even bother. It's really busted. Well, I do now. They'll be back in a minute. What's your name anyway? Won't you tell me? I can't hear you. Your name was stolen? Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen? That's crazy. They're gonna have a little chat for a second. <coughs> Alright. Way worse problems than I do, and you're worried about me the whole time. That's so kind. That's it. I'm gonna help you get your body and name back and your friends. Mario says no, but that's okay. Don't worry about me. I'm not really sure I want to stay with my sisters anymore. I feel like I need to repay you for your kindness. Looks like Vivian likes us too. All right, Vivian has joined the party. <coughs> Vivian's ability is a primer. Vivian can take us into the shadows. We can hide from enemies. And she can set people on fire with her Shade Fist. Her Shade Fist is actually a pretty useful attack. It's one of the better partner attacks in this game. Alright, now we need to get some information. And we're going to get some information by eavesdropping on some of the birds. Uh, before we do, I think that if I go in here... Yep, Mario. So, Duplus with our body and our entire crew is here. They don't seem to recognize us. How do you I mean? Oh, you're acting like completely, it's not completely out of your character. You seem kind of different. You're left the party now. That's cool. You sure have gotten chatty all of a sudden? You never talk. Thank you, Mario. We owe you so much. Take this as a token. I'm not even shadows in my house. Sorry, Mario's visiting me today. Uh, so the mayor was gonna offer him something, but. I don't know if he did. That's interesting. I don't happen to remember that. Uh, last I remember, 
the birds that we need to talk to in particular. Um, I wonder if we can do this. No, that doesn't work. Only on the birds, good to know. Okay. Pretty sure that the birds we need to talk to are these two? No, I could be wrong, but... <coughs> oh, I think I did that all wrong. Let's see. There we go. The mayor's actually the bad guy, right? Nobody even knows humans are so dumb. Only so that knows the bad guy's name is locked up in her creepy steeple, I hear. As you know, if no one knows your name, then you can't be instantable magic. Okay. Uh, I wonder who's going on with that. Alright, so basically that's our hit that we need to go back to Creepy Steeple. We need to go under Creepy Steeple this time, because there's somebody that lives under Creepy Steeple that knows the monster's name. <coughs> so here we go. Our journey back begins. We're going to get stopped by Duplus again. This is the one who stole your name and body. Looks sort of familiar. Guess my name. We're not going to do that. We're just going to say done. <coughs> Wrong Mundo. Prepare for Doom. Again, we cannot do anything, so we just need to run. Woo! That's no bueno. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> Alright, that was unfortunate. <coughs> okay. We've been waiting for you to ambush you. We'll get your name and we'll get your name and body back. Alright. For those keeping track, this is trip number three through uh, the forest. We already took one trip there and one trip back. And it just occurred to me that I have the math wrong. I said no less than four. And it's true, no less than four. But it's actually six trips. Oh, wait. No, no, I'm wrong. Five trips. We're going to take five trips up and down this, uh... <coughs> up and down this forest. These daisies, man, they just want to fight. That's all right. Let's, let's fight them. Get this out of the way. Test out our new Shade Fist. And the daisy ran away. <laughs> okay, so I guess that was worth it. <coughs> and we got some flower points for that, so that's helpful. Alright, let's go through here. Oh, I tried to jump over, but I ended up jumping on. Uh, so I can't help but wonder what would happen if I... Oh, no, that's a veil. Alright, so... I'll just shade this, this one to get it out of the way. Scare him to see if we can turn him. Let's see if we can scare some of these to running away. We scared one of them into running away. There we go. And we'll finish the fight. One point away from a level up. I could actually use that level up pretty much. Um, need the badge points. All right, let's uh, let's attack this flower and see if we can get. To... Oh no, there's a hyper cleft here. I'd rather not play with that. So, we're just gonna run. <coughs> we will definitely level up soon enough, though. And once we do, we're gonna upgrade our badge points again, and then we can finally turn on some of the new badges that we grabbed. Or at least one of them. Um, might turn on that flower saver or that lucky start. Might end up turning on the lucky start and waiting on the flower saver. I don't know why I went through that hole. I didn't need to. I need to go through this hole. Jumped over the hypercleft, and we made it back to Creepy Steeple. We're gonna save so we don't have to take that trip again. <coughs> and we're gonna jump in the well this time. 
So this is where this kind of sucks. So we're going to go through here and there's a ton of spinies that just want to rock us. Yeah, and this is going to continue for a while. We're going to we're going to end up running away a bunch of Jeez, that is just bad luck. We're going to end up running away a bunch of times here. Okay, actually, we got we got away with that. We somehow managed to get away with that, and I'm pretty happy. So we don't have to go through with that again. We're going to go in this door. We're on another Shine Sprite. I'm going to save to make absolutely certain I don't have to go through that again. And then we're going to go through here. And we're going to break this. And now we're in a, a different chamber. <coughs> Let's roll through here. Okay, this is the being under creepy steeple that happens to know Duplis's name. We're gonna grab this Power Plus and a Mr. Softener. That might come in handy. We can get rid of one of these Fright Masks. Let's check what's in these boxes. A Steeple Key. Uh, that's to unlock one of the doors. The letter P. We need that to spell his name. And uh, you're probably wondering, how did I know what his name is? Well, if we eavesdrop on this bird, what happened to those weirdos who were just here? Almost nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important his real name, and you're just to lock me up in here just because I know it. Make me guard the name, stupid missing letter, no way to treat a parrot. Really want a cracker? Dupless, your big meanie, when's feeding time? Why? Uh, pretty bird, pretty bird. Good morning, good morning. Pretty bird, pretty bird. Shine get, shine get. <laughs> Alright, we'll use the steeple key to get out of this room. <coughs> we heard that, you little birdie. Dupless, that's his name. Alright. We're gonna go through this room. This should look familiar. We were already here once. We're gonna jump up through here. And we're gonna exit Creepy Steeple. Okay, and we're going to save, because this is going to mark trip number four through the forest. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, jump through this hole. I'm going to try and avoid these daisies. And which ends up failing tremendously. I'm just gonna run for now. <laughs> Oop, missed that coin. Alright, that's okay. Alright, let's see if we can beat this Daisy up. Okay. This one, ooh. This one's got a. This one's got something. I don't want it to use that. That'll be a level up. Okay, cool. Um, oh, I hit this one. That's all right. We're gonna get our we're gonna get all our stats replenished anyway. <laughs> and that one ran away. All right, that's a level up. So what are we upgrading? You guessed it. Badge points. Alright, let's see what we can turn on here. We've got five badge points to use, uh, so we kind of want to turn on either a Defend Plus, a Flower Saver, or a Lucky Start. I don't think we need the Defend Plus just yet. We are going to need that eventually, as well as this Power Rush. Um, so we're going to turn on 
I'm going to turn on this lucky start for now, and since we have one more left, I'm going to turn on that power rush too. Well, eh, yeah, I'll leave it on for now. <coughs> oh, pardon me. All right, here's the <laughs> the ICU Daisy again. <coughs> All right, we're almost back. <coughs> All right, go curl under here. Go down this way. Go down this way. Whoops. Hyper Kuma caught me. <laughs> yeah, okay, great, thanks. I was already electrified. I'm gonna run away, it's alright, no big deal. <coughs> alright, and we're gonna run into Dupless. Alright, so, just as a refresher, Dupless says, hey, if you can guess my name, I'll give you your name and your body back. Well, your name, sir, is D O O. P L I S S. <coughs> and he's so shocked, he's like, huh? What did you say? It can't be. No, oh, why? How? Oh, I'm feeling faint. And just like a cheater and coward would, he runs away. Now it's our turn. Let's get your name and body back. Where would he go to hide? So, unfortunately, where he would go to hide. It's all the way back to Creepy Steeple again. So we're going to take our fifth and final journey through the forest to get to Creepy Steeple. <coughs> and then we're going to fight for our name and our body and be done with this blasted chapter. Hey, we were able to sneak past the daisy. That's cool. That one, however, we were not. <laughs> Dodgy. See, that's what's really cool about this Lucky Star badge. Uh, it's a great thing to have. Ugh. Daisies, man. Come on. Oh, now, that is a rare occurrence. So I'm actually going to stay here for a moment because we we just ran into the, uh, the Amazing Daisy. If I'm right, that should drop a ton of experience on death. So we're just gonna... I'm just gonna let this Daisy have it and uh, see if we can kill it. Come on! Ugh. Okay, it's gonna try to put me to sleep. Whoa, baby! Okay, that is immensely unfortunate. First of all, I forgot that they attacked that hard, and it just wasted both of my life shrooms. Um, I can buy more, but wow, <laughs> I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Come on, die. I don't remember what, um... I don't remember what this thing's, uh... HP was. There we go, we got it. <laughs> it dropped... It dropped so many... So many star points. So it wasted both of my life shrooms, but that might have been worth it because we just got 50 star points out of that battle. So uh, think of what, think of it what you will. Um, that might have been worth it. Uh, those life shrooms aren't cheap either, but that's all right. I can find more later on. We're gonna want a few of them later, and you'll understand why. Get whoops, wrong hole again. Golly, that's unfortunate. But um, I, I forgot that, that that it could attack. That I forgot that its song would do that much damage. <coughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna heal. Just, against my better judgment, we're gonna save. 
I really don't want to save after losing those life shrooms, but that experience probably just made it all the more worth it, so we're just gonna accept it. Alright. <coughs> you gotta you gotta jump on those amazing daisies when you see them, man. They they are they're such a rare occurrence. Um alright, so we gotta go out. We'll go out this door this time. We're gonna try and avoid these swoopers. I just don't want to play with them right now. And someone moved the staircase, so we gotta move the staircase back. Looked like it might have been all the way on the wrong side. It was not. Okay, good. We only had to move it once. Avoid the boo. Save. And we're finally going to confront Dupless in Mario's body and end this chapter. <clears throat> all right. You again, you're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. <coughs> so he basically comes all the way back to where we whooped him the first time. <coughs> Mario, the bad guy who stole your name and body is Mario? That means you're Mario? No, of course not! <laughs> I can't believe it all this time I was helping Mario. I feel like an idiot. Fight her with a girlfriend, don't expect any sympathy. So Vivian's gonna leave us to fight alone. FP will briefly recover, that's helpful. <coughs> Alright, we're gonna, um... We're gonna need to just... Uh, just... Beat up on him as much as we can. Ow. Oh, Kumbella. Why you do this? Um, I might need to heal already. No, no cans. Uh, alright, so this this is where this... Oh, I do have another life stream left, so that's helpful. I apparently had three of them. Um, so that's good to know. So, that being said, I can afford to be a little reckless. I'll get rid of one of these pal blocks. <laughs> Well, that wasn't particularly worth it, but okay. You missed me! You missed me! <laughs> Alright, and now Vivian's gonna come back to fight with us. Because I've made my choice and I'm not turning back. Alright, so we're gonna throw Vivian in front then, and we're gonna let uh, her shade fist Mario so he'll burn. Dupless, really. Um. I would. Well. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna power bounce again. I would love to see if I can get away with charging at least once or twice, but. Miss me. <laughs> All right, I think we got him this time. We're gonna uh, shade fist him one more time, and just to make absolutely certain that he falls, we're gonna power bounce. I don't know why we're starting at four damage, but I'm not gonna complain about it. With that, Dupless falls. And we still have one more life stream intact. <coughs> and we take back our body. Q. 
killjoys, and he just kind of jumps off the tower. I don't know how he survives that, but he does. That was in the real Mario. Did we get shell linked? How could I ever mistake Mario for another? So this, who's this girl? Is she one of the Shadow Sirens? Why would you pair up with that? Well, uh, Mario stands in to defend her. So everybody, I'll be happy to travel. I'll be happy to travel with you if you'll have me. Absolutely. Vivian has really joined your party, and we truthfully claim the Ruby Star. Now our power is five, and we can use Art Attack. Yahoo! Defeated the rogue who'd stolen his name and appearance. We have four crystal stars, we're leaving three left to find. The quest to correct all the stars is more than half over. With Vivian by our side, we head off toward the next adventure. What about Beldum and Marilyn, and what became of Duplass? Alrighty. Okay, thank you for sticking with us all that through all through uh, that, folks. I know this was a long one, but I just kind of wanted to get through this chapter as quickly as possible. And uh, when we come back, when we come back next time, we're gonna begin the prologue to chapter five, and things are gonna get interesting soon. You'll see how. So thank you for watching, everybody. Be sure to check out the other videos on the Grand Star Legion YouTube channel. Check out the official YTR forums. Find me on YouTube at TechnoGeek. And check me out on Twitch at Chaos Control Channel. Until the next episode, folks, take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!